everyone, I mind, and I just got another issue of the Lego Ninjago magazine. So this month's magazine comes with a core J minifigure, however, something very cool is it also comes with one bonus minifigure. The bonus minifigure used to be something they did every few months, but it's been quite a while since the last time we got one, so I kind of thought they were done with that. But no, this month they did decide to include one, which I really appreciate, because Core J is kind of a boring minifigure compared to what we normally get in these magazines, since he is such a common and easy to get minifigure. So if you don't know how the bonus minifigure works, in months that include a bonus minifigure, the magazine will come with one extra poly bag, and the poly bag will be random from one of the previous month's magazines. So if you're in the UK and you go in person to a shop that sells this magazine, you can actually go through and pick out, like, the extra minifigure that you want. However, if you're like me and you just have a subscription to the magazine, you can't pick. It is completely random. So I was kind of nervous because I thought it could be, like, Scuba Lloyd or something, which I really didn't need a fourth of. And Benthamar was actually the one I was hoping for. I thought it would be so cool to get a third Benthamar, and I was lucky enough to get a third one. It would have been cool with, like, Scuba Nia or Glutinous as well. But no, Benthamar was the one I won the most, so I'm very happy to see that is my bonus minifigure this month. But regardless, we'll look at both minifigures at the end of this video. For now, let's take a look at the magazine itself. Alright, so here's the cover of the magazine. It says J with golden weapon plus extra toy. Lego toy, J, nice nunchucks, cool katana, and new armor. Not sure if that armor is new, but sure. Win! Epic Lego prizes! Water hazard! Who put Ninjago City in danger? Awesome posters! And then we have some comic lol. <laughs> we have some comic lols. Cool. Awesome. <laughs> Alright, let's get this open. Guys, they replaced the Seabound ad with an ad for Lego Con. Wow, okay, they're actually, they're trying to advertise this. That's interesting. Hmm. Very curious to see what Lego Con is actually going to be like this year. Are they going to improve it, or is it going to be the same kind of mess that it was last year? Oh, uh, a tale of contents as always. And let's go to the first page. So we have the bio page on the minifigure J. J blows his color and lightning his element, and J shocks every villain in his new suit. For the casual look, the lightning ninja makes some villains chill. J has a hard-hitting action up his sleeve. Faster than a flash, he goes crash and poke. Okay. With this beauty, no one can touch me. Huge. These double nunchucks are nine centimeters long. That's as big as two ninjas standing on top of each other. Comfy, Jay's pet and knee protected as hell would quietly sneak up with the villains. They never hear him coming. Mysterious, the katana holder of Jay's back is a super exciting symbol underneath it. Write down what it could mean. Uh, ninja. It says the word ninja. Pop score. So this one, I think you're supposed to take these shurikens off the weapons and throw it at this dartboard right here and see who can hit the 50. That's kind of a fun game. It incorporates, like, the actual Lego toy. I like that. All right, next page. We have a, uh-oh, a stressful search. All right, so this is pretty much just a maze, but it has the added thing of you have to try to complete it in one minute. Then we have a spot the differences game between this picture and this picture. They gave me a top hat and a Lloyd a hamburger. Okay, very cool. Lunch packages. Some ninja treats or pixels lunch packages have gone missing. Can you match the items from the fridge to the empty square so that every hero gets the same food box? Okay, so this one you just have to make sure that it's the same thing in all of them. Okay, that's kind of fun. Alright, and now we're at the comic. Very interesting start. We have all the ninja in the shower. Um, okay. But yeah, let's, uh, let's take a look at this. That was a little bit of the comics. I'm not going to read the entire thing to you guys, but feel free to pause the video and read it for yourself. But if I notice anything especially cool or interesting or funny, I will stop and point it out to you guys. Okay, so something's wrong with the water supply. I wonder what this is going to have to do with Nia at all. Okay, so apparently the water's contaminated because they are fracking. Interesting political commentary there. It also looks like it's a misdemeanor using the diesel knot, but it looks like that's probably not actually supposed to be the diesel knot. It's just a uh, new vehicle that they just used the diesel knot as a stand-in for because they didn't want to design a whole new vehicle, which is honestly fine. Diesel knot works for that. It's also cool to see the uh, Core Lloyd vehicle right here, as well as the Seabound J vehicle. Oh, look at that. So that's the Benchstone Spider from the J-Bike set. That's actually really cool to see that sort of hidden in the shadows, because I believe in, like, Germany and a few other European countries, this magazine actually came out before the, uh, crystallized sets were revealed. So that's sort of like a little tiny teaser for the crystallized sets. I actually really like that. But yeah, you can see they hop down and they fight Misdemeanor, and they're trying to stop the Avenged Stone from being mined. Okay, but now we have the break in the comic, where we have Sketchy Letter. So this is sort of like a fill-in-the-missing-words thing where all the words are on the side. It's about the comic that you just read. That's fun. And then we have the posters in the middle. So first, we have a giant coal poster. It says, all oh, just ready. Ah, uh, interesting. I mean, yeah, I think this is this is a decent poster, I'd say. It's only Seabound Coal, and I don't really like how they only use, like, the one expression in all of these renders. The exact same eyebrows does look a little bit weird. But at least it is actually five different renders. They don't reuse renders anywhere. So if you're a really big Coal fan, and I guess Seabound Coal fan, this, this is pretty nice. And then on the other side, this one, okay, this post is a lot cooler. I really like this one. So it just says Ninjago Seabound. It's got renders of all the ninja and all the villains. And then on the borders, there's just tons of different frames from the show. That's actually really cool. A really nice, like, representation of the season. That would look super cool on a wall. I really like this poster. But now back to the magazine. 
we have the locked lab. So this is a little puzzle where you have to figure out which direction Glutinous has to turn this gear to make the rest of them turn to open the door. And then this is a fill in the pieces game. Never been a huge fan of those. Again, I know it's all for kids, not for me. But I feel like even for kids, there's not too much to these. Luckily, it's only half a page, though. But now let's get back to the comic. Uh-oh, all the ninja are covered in gunk. I was going to say where's Zane, but I guess this is happening at the same time as the last comic. So Zane and Pixel are out doing something else right now. Uh-oh, they're ramming into the diesel knot. Or not, they're getting the diesel knot to chase them. And they drowned the diesel knot in the sludge, and there you can see, there's the crystal spider up there. Okay, honestly, I think this was a solid comic. It's not, like, the most important, but it was fun, and I feel like this could be canon. Probably isn't canon, but, like, you can imagine this is canon and not, like, contradict any official canon. The Crystal Spider Cool is a super cool teaser. Would definitely be cooler if this magazine came out before the sets were revealed, but even still, since they're so new, that's very cool to see. Yeah, I mean, it's not up there with their all-time best comics, but I think it's a really solid one. I'm happy with it. Next, we have a bio page on Lloyd. We've gotten this for a few of the different ninja in the previous magazines. All right, next page, uh, we have an ad for the LEGO City magazines, and then the advertisement to enter the contest. I say this on all my magazines, but you can answer a very, uh, very simple quiz and, um, email it to them, and if you're in the UK, you have a chance to win the 4 plus bounty. And then final, oh, we're not, that's not the end, okay. The layout of this one's a little confusing to me. All right, so this one's, like, who hits more first. The, this was in the last magazine, too, I think, with, uh, Kalmar. And then this game up here, I'm not going to try to explain the entire thing, but it actually seems complex and interesting, which I actually really like. All right, next, okay, this, now we have the ad for next month's magazine. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of core minifigures coming to magazines, because they are all so common. However, if any core minifigures wouldn't come to a magazine, I don't mind it being Cole, because Cole only comes in two core sets while the rest of the minifigures come to three or four. So I'm definitely not going to complain about getting a third core Cole. And the weapon on him seems cool, but I'm hoping the month out of the day, if they're going to stick with cores, either Pixel or Woo, because any of the other ninja are just kind of boring to get. It also looks like we're going to have a comic with Captain Soto. Looks like this has been the thing they've been doing in most of the magazines at the very end, and that's honestly good to see. They're probably my favorite thing in the back of these magazines. I said this in all my videos and I include them, but these are the kind of things I love to like cut out the back of cereal boxes and whatnot as a kid and play with, so if this magazine existed when I was a kid, I know I would have loved these. But I think that's about it for the magazine itself, so now let's take a look at those two minifigures. Alright, let's get these two poly bags open. Alright, and here are the two minifigures that this magazine comes with. We, of course, have Core J and Benthamar. We'll start with Core J because this is the minifigure that everybody gets in this magazine, while Benthamar will be different for everybody. Core J, though, is a really good minifigure. I actually do like this guy. What I said at the beginning, I don't want to make it sound like it's a bad minifigure. I actually think this is one of the most unique looking and one of my favorite J suits. I really love the bright yellow on him. I think that's just such a cool look. It really sets this one apart. The sand blue legs at the bottom are a little bit strange, but you know what? I honestly don't mind them. I don't remember what my original thoughts on them were back in January, but now that time is gone, I definitely do like them. It's cool that it comes with this armor piece too, because previous Ninjago magazines have had uh, suits that have had this armor piece that has not come with them. Specifically, like the island suits in the magazine did not come with the armor piece. So it's cool to say that that's there. And the weapon build this time around is really cool too. It's got like this double flail with shurikens at the end. This reminds me of the kind of builds you'd see in the 2012 Ninjago spinners. And I always appreciate when the minifigures may be not that interesting that they at least come with a cool weapon build. And I have to say this one is very nice looking. You can take off the shurikens too and just use them as shurikens, but personally I really like the big flail. Oops, and I forgot to mention he comes with a bright yellow katana too. But there he is with his armor and mask removed, and there's his back torso print as well as an alternate face. You can see the back torso print has that ninja symbol, and this like lightning design streaking down the back. Yeah, I mean the core suits are simple, so they're not like the best looking suits ever created, but I really love the colors in this one, and I think it is still very solid. And then Bethamar I don't want to spend too long on because I have reviewed him before both in the set he came in and in the previous magazine he came in, and not everybody's going to get Bethamar when they buy this magazine, but I do think he is a great minifigure both in terms of the minifigure and in terms of the character. Really happy that he came in a magazine in the first place, and I'm really happy that I was lucky enough to get a second one of him in a magazine. The sand blue color scheme's really cool, I like the Lego Batman movie Joker hair on him, and the bronze and gold design and like the gills and everything, it really makes him look super unique. His like three-pronged trident too looks amazing, love like the trans blue and everything used there. And then you can see he also has a clip attachment where you can attach the trident on his back if you want. Here's how Benthamar looks with his hair and accessory removed so you can see his full face and torso print. And there's his alternate face and back torso print. Really love the alternate face of Benthamar. I think that's a great expression. And back torso print's pretty good too. So as a whole, Core J on his own would be very weak. It is a good minifigure, but it comes in multiple sets, including a $20 set. So I feel like if you want this minifigure, you probably already have it. And in my opinion, if you don't have this minifigure, you're better off getting one of the sets than this magazine. However, the Bodine's minifigure really does save the minifigure selection here. 
So if you can guarantee you're getting yourself good bonus money for your like Benthamar here, then I'd say it's worth getting. But that leads me into my next point. What are my overall thoughts on this magazine? On the whole, I'd say this is a pretty solid one. The minifigure here definitely would be very weak without the bonus one. But yeah, if you're actually in the UK, like where you can go to a store and pick out which bonus minifigure you're getting, I'd say it's worth picking up because you can go get one of the minifigures you missed before, or if it's a minifigure you already have, get an extra. However, I know the bonus minifigure I think is only a UK thing. I think the magazine in other countries does not have it. So if Core J is going to be the only minifigure you get from this magazine, probably not. I would not recommend it. Comic this time around is pretty good and the game is pretty good. I really like the one poster too. But I think the minifigure is the most important aspect of the magazine, so if that's not good, it's probably not worth getting. But personally, I am very satisfied because I did get the Benthamar figure. But those are just my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think of this magazine in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please press like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. I do Lego and Ninjago videos just like this one almost every day, so if you subscribe, you'll be the first to see them. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!